Did you use the right link? Oh. You yeah. think Soviet sent last week? Totally, Nikki. I, I would all I would never do something as stupid as use the wrong link. Oh. Oh. You're an idiot. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. Who do you think I am? I think idiot? it actually has been a bit. How about you guys give me a recap? I'll uh, give you a recap. Takes out Glock. <laughs> I have a high cap. Well, what happened to you? What happened to these hooligans last few sessions? Does someone else these are rap scallions. I've got it. <laughs> we found a um a box. Not a box. Um, what was I saying? Fuck's sake. <laughs> I wow. used thieves' tools to open a door. <laughs> so we'd, last week we went round trying to clear the rest of the science, this floor. Um, cleared all, but I believe it was either one or two rooms. Uh, we've been able to save some more of Shroom's brethren. Oh no, we saved exactly one more, the other were dead. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to be optimistic here, come on. <laughs> um, and then after saving the last one, we decided to pull back to replenish and heal up. But before that, Shroomy used, was it two crowbars to try and wedge a door shut for the grand finale of kicking ass? Well, I wouldn't say grand finale. We still have quite a bit to do at this place, but we are going to kick a certain person's ass. That, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> I, yeah, My bot so... broke. It thinks it's uh, yesterday. Oh, or rip. a couple days ago. No, today is today. No, uh, even though the stream says it is running a certain session, uh. it's doing previous sessions as in the chat. It's really dumb. Hmm. It did some, something like that last week, didn't it? Yep. Oh. Well. Oh, yes, you all, uh, explored... Alright. I I am ready. Did you just crack a fucking energy drink? No, I cracked a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, cracked a cold one. Dr. Pepper. I'm oh, glad we have uh Did that did that come up on the mic like really yes. well? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh I met uh a person of culture I see. <laughs> Do you also have a Dr. Pepper? No, I just love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, it's Don't it's my favorite. It's my favorite soda. Pepsi tastes like shit. <laughs> I agree. I said it. Does whiskey Dr. Pepper count? Yes. Well, I'll have. No, oh, Dr. Pepper is so good. Mm. Dr. Pepper cherry though. Oh yeah. There's one that you can have at the cinema near me. It's like a yeah, cherry and vanilla Dr. Pepper. The fuck is beau. Mm. Anyways, guys have explored some of this facility, saved several of the aquatal individuals, made a few blank clones and one backup clone, and are now preparing. I don't even know if you guys rested yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. No. I think we were, Damn it, Phil. we were either going to talk Fine, or something fuck you too. while we <laughs> in air quotes, keeping watch. Yeah. But, uh, that one was supposed never mind. Yes, I know. They're in a cuddle pile, it's fine. More like yeah, a cuddle yes, pile. The cuddle yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a group of a quaddle called a puddle. 
I, I, that is a question for Nikki. I do not. I'm asking <laughs> Nikki. I'm asking Nikki. Is it called a puddle? Uh, fun fact. Is it like how they uh, forget the no, name no, no. Axolotl, by the way, at work, and I called an Axolotl and a Quaddle, and they were like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Give me brain rot. That's not uh, you gave yourself uh, brain rot. Technically, if you actually want to know what a group of salamanders are, they're called the Maelstrom. What the fuck? No, that, I, I'm Googling this. Hang on. Maelstrom of Salamand. So, yes. so that one group in That's Cyberpunk real? Is. <sighs> I give up. Yes. Why would I not? Why would I give you false facts? <laughs> like... This is funny. <laughs> because it's funny to gaslight tenacity. I. Did you know? Genuinely don't you know, know if I'm alive anymore because you... you guys have gaslit oh, me so you're hard. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this one. A group of turtles is called a bale. None. Anyways. Can we pay bale with turtles? <laughs> bale. <laughs> bale. It's just a turtle. <laughs> I need a bailiff. It's a turtle. Yeah, no, if we ever go to court, the bailiff has to be a fucking turtle. <laughs> All right. Erica is not here. Let's not here. So we'll take uh, their watches when they can. But who of you are going to take first watches? Oh. If... Actually, technically, that's the it. four of you one. could just do your watches. Well, yeah. this is a safe zone. Yes. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Oh, okay. We don't know that's that. Yeah. All right. I I'll mean, just set up in a corner. I'm gonna ask you this question. Yes, it may be safe, but do you think any of you are gonna not have someone stay awake even though it is safe? No. We have a you're dragon. Still in a unknown, <laughs> you're, you're still in a facility that it, you guys, yes, have cleared up for the most part, but some individuals have a are dragon. still paranoid. <laughs> and uh, soon to be hatched I spinal. Hold on, why are you sleeping in the corridor when there's a comfy couch? That's fair. <laughs> Zellock will do the dog thing and like walk in a circle and just flop. Oh, that's not what my dogs do. They get up on the couch and walk on top of you and then lay down. Yeah, they just yeah. ragdoll. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, I fits, I sits. Just, uh, just the fucking. Even if I don't the, fit, I'll still stay. Yeah. The youngest. The, one the goddamn like the, the 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 Gary's mod fucking ragdoll sound effect as they as they plop onto the. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. So. I mean, we do have the dragon blocking off the door. I don't know, but it's better being safe than sorry. I, I'm still saying, as your characters would be still paranoid. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take first watch. Okay. So also can send check? us spend this time to roleplay with each other too. Yeah, this is more of what I was going with, but uh. Mm. Yeah, I think it goes without saying my character is a bit more is a bit beyond upset today. No, absolutely. Well fucking angry. But they don't yeah. have eyebrows. <laughs> Just drawn on frowny ones. <laughs> that legitimately the thing. That is the thing I have brought up. The eyebrows on my character art are not real. She intentionally puts those on so that people can tell what she look, what what her actual facial expressions are. You know, I, They're wait, just why witches I, of why cartilage. Why I, uh, so I have a question. Why does this Soraya look more female than it, other? It's just a, no, it's just a different art. I think it's just yeah. different art. I think yeah. they're all like that. 
This Araya has really long hair. Is that a problem with guys with long hair? What's what's wrong with you? Oh, Answer dog. well. <laughs> you have long hair. No, I don't. I have short hair. Your character has long hair. No, I... Yes, he does. Look at the thing. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, man, <laughs> man, men with long hair are gone. <laughs> oh, shit. I swing both ways. <laughs> He's just a... He's I mean, just yeah. a... Um... Like, what's up, baby? You trying to go on a date? He's just a well scientist. Yeah, he's a scientist that works out. He has nerd rage. And no, even though you're a boy or a girl, I don't know what you want to guess kiss and find out. Tell me how you feel later, sweet cheeks. <laughs> I hate you. Please stop. All right. Um, I am going to sit next to Swimmy and just kind of go. You all right? They give you a look. I mean, no, look. no, you're not. Um, I'm sorry we couldn't get more. You're not just going to um, just say a cross in um, Arguin. We're, we're gonna get this bitch. You can count on that. What does Getting her like? isn't the I, I... issue. The issue is that she was allowed to walk free. I get that. But we're gonna make sure that does not happen again. I what exactly did... Oh, go ahead. Five years living through hell of her developing that process you saw. And the fact that she had the audacity to not only use it, but to kill those subjected to it is beyond infuriating. Uh, Zariah's glasses will, uh, adjust a little bit, and he'll, like, look through them. I'm not used to broken bifocals, but we'll do for now. My glasses. Oh, wait, hold on, I can fix those. <laughs> ah. I, I walk over and I cast... Mending. Mending. Oh. Mimding. Okay, waiting for someone to say that. Honestly, I haven't fuck. really had much time to understand magic. In any of, uh, I know I'm a clone, not the original, but uh, I at least know that I've never dealt with magic before. Kind of a. Uh, Mundane, I guess you could call me. So I just stuck to what I knew. Science. Though I think Which magic would have made my work a lot easier. Or maybe don't, more just don't say that around <laughs> someone we know. You'll um, you'll be better off if you don't say it around a man named Victor. Victor he, was ready to throw down with a fucking god in front of uh, him. This he's is... not the biggest fan <laughs> of magic. <laughs> he was ready to throw down. This facility used to house uh, more than just that... Uh, well, I saw the big hole in the wall. Uh, I'm guessing it is gone. It is. Yeah, it, it died. There was other sort of beings kind of similar. Not as big. Uh, 
I don't know how large it was when you saw it, but we got a, a very large specimen a long time ago. That uh, was very uh, large. Let, it was, it was say, very large. We, we found some in a different form, if uh, you get what I mean. Well, I'm not the main proprietor of this facility. I'm guessing whoever it's taken charge has held their own experiments. There were other creatures in this facility that were also of the same sort, primordial beings. Uh, sort of uh, primal uh, animals. Mm. Ones that were a little bit more attuned to Nerikov than others. Ones that could be uh, They come every few hundred years. Random genetics. But... Uh, the other ones were like smaller things, I guess. Raptors, snakes... Uh... Compies? Uh, no compies. Uh, I don't think we have the pterodon anymore. The, the what? We, we've definitely not come across one. We have not come across a pterodon. No, uh... If memory is serving correct, that was released. Where? Oh. To the wild. Where it belongs. That is... Zarai, I know you're not the original, but you and your clones somehow manage to be bafflingly unhelpful sometimes. <laughs> Actually, I... can we make a nature check related to them releasing a pterodon? Would, would that have caused any issues? A pterodon, a reward or a carnivore? Uh, ter well, pterodons are generally is... found well, here in the Blessed Lands. If we're still here, unless this facility has been moved, uh, it, or in the primordial the blessed lands where we found the spino. But we brought. I found. That I here. found pterodon. Uh. <laughs> there should be others. Uh, I'm. You wouldn't have happened to have known about the Hydra, would you? Uh, Hydra? Uh, oh dear. Oh, one second. Uh, bear in mind, I have recently woken up. I do have, like, all of the previous Zarya's notes and shit from the um, filing cabinets. But I can't read them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll have a few people. You don't want to meet the. Uh, well, I can. Tyrannosaurus Rex version. Uh, we heard there's an underwater one. <laughs> it's. Uh, and. Uh, Arnold. A pterodon and an ankylo. Oh, great. So there's like a switch to just. Oh, there's also an underwater nice. one yes, so that okay. is still in the waters just outside the mm, Melodious Ice Fields. It's hunt hunting grounds, at least. I think it uh, used to swarm around the lagoon there. The, the one that just reopened? But there's a re it reopened? Wait, ho hold on. What was the underwater one? A... a plesiosaur? You know, like a Loch Ness monster. 
It's gonna... Uh, fucking huge. <laughs> she's just gonna... <laughs> Oh. Send her quick. Just going to pick up a phone and just dial uh, a friend, you know. <laughs> just bear in mind, well, this was a long, long time ago. Its feeding grounds would have changed because of the metal curse. And more than likely wouldn't have come back yet. I'm going to be honest, we're not that lucky. That, that is true. Uh, I mean... We're not. Well, we're, we're just not. <laughs> how you say a long time? Exactly how long? I mean, if your home was, I guess, uh, if the year is correct on what you guys say, for the past over 50 years, I think you would change your hunting grounds too and hope. If you couldn't return. What are the chances that it is actually just dead? The chances of it dying is highly likely. That calamity could have killed it completely. We don't know. I don't know, at least. Maybe Flint's outburst with the world magic might have split it in two. <laughs> what? That chance. We'll explain that later. Um, I guess while we're here, we should probably... I guess figure out what the plan is with Esker. As much as it... As much as I would personally want to kill her here and now, it... It may be more advantageous for her to face an actual trial. The only thing is with trials, it might not always go according to plan. We have more than enough evidence to put any... But if she's got allies here. out there, it's not going to be that easy. I don't think she does. Trust me, with being in the army teaches you a lot of things. Even if someone seems to be alone, they act alone, just always mean they don't have allies. Hiding in the shadows or close by. I understand where you're going with this. But we cannot be sure that there's not someone out there that will come to her aid. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, and peeks up. What room is she in? Uh, the left side of the corridor, third room. Right at the end. At the end. You know, if there's any secret entrances and exits to that room? Well, that's a thing. I'm a little confused. Originally, that was disposal. There's no machines in there. It's supposed to be just a bunch of drums. Why is she I hiding mean, they there? Have already, they have already moved the storage room, so... They could have moved things in, built things there, I don't know. Well, the know, storage room's right yet. across from that room. What do you mean? We, we searched the room, I think it was opposite the one we found you in. Oh. And it had just storage shelves and... Yeah. Science Machine. supplies and all that, yes. Rearranging things a little weird. Perhaps they ran out of room in the regular storage room. Maybe. Shrugs. Ah. Uh, well, if she's in the disposal room, I don't know what to tell you. Is, is there another way out of that room? With it being the disposal room? 
Hmm. It's sealed. It's not meant to be Good. accessed through maintenance. There's nothing to maintain. And I'm guessing if she wanted to escape, the only place to go is where all of the waste goes. You no. Know. It's just a pit. Nowhere to go. Doesn't go deep enough, you doesn't knowledge. go far. We don't know what or how long she's been here for. We don't know what they've been able to do in that time. They've been here for three weeks. Mm. You never know. You never know what they can do. Well, three weeks with a good enough crew can get you a lot done. And, uh... Have you told them who it is? Like, what doctor? Yes. I know you said we it. told them it was Esker. Okay. And knowing her skills, she would have tried to use her regenerative know-how to try and speed things up. Looks over at their quarrels. Now I understand. So you're saying she's performing science-based necromancy, essentially. I wouldn't say From a misunderstanding. That. I think she's making something. I mean, we are surrounded by labs. Well. More like... A creature, probably. Was her speciality. That's why she went after the regeneration. She wanted an indestructible creature that could never die and always be come back. Well, fortunately, a lot of her experiments uh, died pretty Flaw? easily due to the flaws that she would look past. Mostly. Uh, some of them were just killed off by Irion. Too disgusting, he would call them. Abominations. Angered her more. As I know, these are only memories of the original, not mine. <laughs> Though, if, uh, since I wasn't awoken, I'm the backup. She may have uh, re. She may have also had time to reprogram any clones that were left over. So, be careful. I may not look it, but I am quick. Good to know. I think that's as much as I can help you with, uh, out of my knowledge of this place and the person you're after. The rest we of it is up to help. you all. So, where where are you to go when you leave the when you leave this place? Ah, <sighs> that is a question, isn't it? I don't. At the moment, I have nowhere to go. I mean, we do have our little settlement with the original, or what we think is the original. He's not the original. No. Huh. Another clone? Yes. Interesting. Ah. Uh. I mean, I could help out. It would be awkward, but you can still do it. Great minds think alike, right? Would it be close to the same mind think alike? Ah. Bad point. <laughs> you know, while he's sat there, he's going to start checking his arrows and sharpening his blade just getting ready
Yeah, for some reason, my bag of holding is still not working properly on my um, on my sheet. Strange. Yeah, it's still saying I've only got 150 carry weight. Uh, was it supposed to be? Uh, according to this, the bag of holding can hold 500 pounds. Oh, right, right, right. Because it hasn't been... Yeah, it's just not added on. I mean, something I've done wrong, I don't know. Nope. Okay. No, I will say, be careful of those uh, primal creatures, if you ever meet them. Uh, as I said, we only had a few here, well, at least one. But we had other creatures here as well, things that we could not uh, fathom being used for whatever she has planned. Yes, we may have come across one of them on the uh, upper floor. Possibly. We, uh, our whole, our whole, uh, research here was research in the ice fields and the creatures here. Trying to get an understanding. Also, to see if we could create primal creatures here. But, uh, not by force. We were seeing if we could, uh, introduce. Uh, new breed through uh, uh, eggs and safe ways. I wasn't going to harm any creatures or like so just taking DNA from one, yeah, and planting it in the egg, seeing if it could and get see where it goes from there. primal, see if it could get the primal nature of some of the larger creatures. Hmm. See if I could get the, uh, its special traits that they get. I'm going Ability to, uh, to sort of uh, absorb a theory of. I I have a question for you. I'm as I'm as I'm asking him this. I'm looking at my arm that is just scorched from the um, the makeshift ram shard. What what do you think of this? And I'm just going to hold my arm out and just let him have a look at it. See if he can see anything he can think of. Probably won't. It is an arm. Fuck off. <laughs> Dickhead. What? Hmm. Repeat. Sorry. Um, I've just shown him my arm that's been scored oh. from holding the Rome shot and trying to charge uh, it and see if he can. He looks over it. Yeah. Sorry to tell you, friend, but you're. Uh, I'm not an expertise in magic. Oh, no, I, I, I understand that. But I do know these signs. Uh, you have a bit of sickness in you. I thought as much. Uh, I'd be careful. Uh, do you know any way of removing this sickness? Unless you know a very powerful wizard, or a... Uh, ...being that understands magic to the highest extent and can control things like that, perhaps. But anyone who's amateurish or doesn't fully know what they're doing could cause you more harm. What do you mean by sickness? What kind of sickness are we talking about, guy? 
Well, we need to get down with this sickness. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Potentially. Deafening silence. <laughs> what, like we have That's fucking fine. cancer now? You have a potential to die. Um, Chances are low. Yes. What do you have the potential? I'm gonna hold out both of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure arm cancer is not a thing. It's not cancer. And this magical sickness is not like you think it is. So I don't think you were here for it, but both of Phil's arms. They fill me in. They fill me in. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Well. The sickness won't kill you completely, I guess. As long as you don't overdo it on your magic, you should be fine. Oh, it's a good thing I very rarely use magic. Huh. <laughs> though, if you have... though I'm unsure what other things could affect it. I only know of magic, so... Is it solely in, like, for instance, our arms, or is it now throughout our whole body? It is now a part of you. Oh shit, <laughs> Nikki! From from um from the uh, supplies that I found, uh, or that we found in the supply cupboard, and I took some boxes. Would I have a syringe in one of those boxes that I could extract some blood from? What? Like a needle, like okay. So so in the 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 room where we where the where the supply cupboard was, yeah. Make sure storage room. Yeah, 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 and and I grab some of the boxes and put it in my bag of holding. Right? Would there be a syringe in any of those boxes, by chance? A syringe, uh, possibly. Yeah. Cool. I want to start like digging through my bag and opening up the box just trying to find a syringe because I want to yeah, see boy. if my blood is a different color too. You, you, you and you and you and boxes don't really go hand in hand here, Chief. Hey, look, they're the boxes of my belongings, not my emotions. All right. Uh, not what I meant <laughs> at all. Yeah. Well. Uh, after a little bit of searching, you do eventually find something. Uh, you can make a medicine check to see if you can uh, properly pull your blood. I zoned out for like two minutes, <laughs> and <laughs> I, that brought me back. What is happening? Yeah, yeah, he wants to test his blood. No. You're going to like. <laughs> Dan, you want to do this oh, right. instead of asking the party healer who is like <laughs> okay, right well, there. I didn't know that you were here, so, so what? they're all sitting on the same couch didn't know you were here the rest of you uh, all watch Phil just rummage through his bag and then pull out a syringe and before anyone can react just stabs it into his arm and starts like pulling out blood and you're like, you know, it's just face uh, hard right now. <laughs> Chumi's eyes go wide, just like, what? <laughs> Zariah uh, starts point, laughing. At this point, she's just, she's done. Just used to his shit. <laughs> there is no reaction anymore. It's Phil. <laughs> Phil's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. <laughs> Is the damage I take? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instantly die, you hit an archery. <laughs> <he> dodge that? <laughs> no. You can't uh, uncanny... Happy, you idiot. can't uncanny dodge random damage you deal to yourself. <laughs> it doesn't work like All right, that. Uh, so, what color is the blood? <laughs> 
not red. Oh, shit. Is it like Ethereum purple? Ethereum purple? Ethereum? 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 ethereum what? Fuck, fuck, just take just take a minute and breathe, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Have you been imbibing again? Oh, God. I think he's having is a stroke. It ethereum. Ethereal. What? Uh, the purple stuff. Is it purple goop stuff? Or is it like. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, it's, uh, it look? It's like a, Just ask what fucking colour it is for crying out loud. The I've been After trying that, to you say the only it You are the minutes, only so. British person where English is a second language. <laughs> I'll do that for oh, I'm here. <coughs> Y'all done talking over the DM? I've been trying Sorry. to explain for a while now. And you all talked over me. <laughs> My apologies. All good. It's fine. As I was saying, yes, your blood is not red. It is a different color. It is actually more of a darker blue. Oh. Huh. And it kind of like, uh, as it flows inside those other stuff you extracted. Uh, there's strange things floating around, and every once in a while you see like an almost like a spark of light pulsing through the blood. And what in around. the fuck? Congratulations, you have magic aids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a show this to Zariah. <laughs> Uh, could you explain this? There's like white thingies in the in the vial. Yes, because that's magic coursing through your veins. What you think was going to happen when you messed with pure magic? Um, you fried your circuits. Oh. <laughs> Oh. You just give me a call. Huh. Be careful when you cast magic, so you don't have as much... as good of control over it as you used to. Well, I mean, like... What? Does this mean I'm gonna die in, like, a few years? Depending on how white or how... how Mm, how bad you are with your magic, depending on it, could cause... Oh. Sorry, it's really hard to do this when my brother is talking on the phone in the kitchen <laughs> while cooking food. <laughs> it's all right. I'm so... Uh... Okay. Uh, I don't even remember where. Uh, so like, I, I'm I was gonna die in a few years, <laughs> and you were talking about how um I need to be careful with my magic because now there's sparks in my blood. Not sparks. Oh, well, whatever you do to cause that now makes your magic a little bit more volatile. Has a chance of uh, rocking sort of strange magic you can't control it may affect the world may affect you may even affect your friends i know i'm probably uh, the wrong person here 
But is there a wave controlling it? Can I make an arcana? Yeah. I think that I am the, mundane. To... I don't know enough about magic to fully understand I think, this. I think you two just need to wait until they get back to camp. Uh, um, no, I, I... The people who just arrived. No, I get that. I'm just curious. 24. So There's things floating in my blood. Look. I'm gonna run over and, and show the was, vial. <laughs> yes, I see the vial, Phil, and it's almost like I have repeatedly told you not to do stupid shit without thinking. This is just the, the epitome of your own actions. I... There is nothing I can do to help you. There is nothing he can do to help you. You have a chance of getting the information you want when we get back to camp. But for right now, the only thing you can do is to not go overboard with your magic. Well, good thing I don't rely on magic. Wait. Does that mean I can't use, like, uh, my psionic? Psionics aren't magic. You're, you're a psionic? Ooh. I, I'm going to telepathically say in Zariah's brain, there are multiple of us here. <laughs> Can I join the psionics? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Zariah. can you also speak in his brain? <laughs> No, yeah, I, I wish I could. It would be really funny to just... To just, just fuck with him. Gaslight him. No, to just fuck with the lion. But yeah, I got a 24 on whether or not uh, Phil and Enoch will be able to control their wild magic ability. I mean, it's kind of in the name. It's wild magic. Yeah. Controlling it isn't really... like This is like the problem we've been having with Flynn. You can't really control it. It just kind of happens. No, um, Enoch could be more asking out of... He's starting to worry a little bit, so he's just trying to get as many answers as uh, he can. Well, the 24. Uh, you understand at least this. They aren't really that much in danger, as much as, uh, but now there's three of you that have the ability to proct wild. So we're we're a threat to the natural order. <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> What's new there? The uh, the magnitude of it. The magnitude of it, Ignog. The magnitude. <laughs> Uh, you're unsure if it's even more severe if using psionics or if it doesn't do anything. As, uh, scions are not generally tested with this kind of stuff. This is a new field for all of you. I mean, does, well, psionics aren't magic. So would it even affect it, is the actual question. You don't know? Quick, Phil, use your psionics. <laughs> oh god, here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, what should I do? Um, Alright, yeah. I'll do a thaumaturgy. That's the easiest one. I'm gonna make my eyes go RGB. I wish that was a filter we could place on your token. I know, right? <laughs> uh, nothing happens. Oh, so that's a cantrip, no a spell. Oh. Uh, not psionics. Okay, well that's then I'll do uh, oh, oh, disguise self. I, I have that. I can cast that at first level. That's also just magic. Oh. Your psionics is like your mage hand. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, to is mage hand a cantrip? Speak in their minds. 
your oh, telepathy. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just speak in Baliap's mind and say, I don't know if anything's happening. Okay. Hey, Baliap. Does anything weird happen? Fun safe. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst possible one, I think. <laughs> No, no, it's all right. 14? 14? If you gave me your fucking wild magic STD, I'll be mad. <laughs> no. Uh, for some reason, Beliath, when speaking into your mind, it's painful. Ow. Like, okay. Psychic damage. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, hang on. Let me apply it that. Doesn't affect people, but it makes it more it just intense. Like a uh, okay. That's useful. All right. Oh no. Yeah, it's, it's very useful. Very useful. That hurt like hell. <laughs> Ears are Don't slightly do bleeding. Sorry. Soft nose bleed. Okay. <laughs> let, let, let us let us both let us agree, Phil. Talking in between our minds, um, especially, only emergencies, yeah? <laughs> only emergencies. <laughs> because that fucking hurt. Ah, oh, I felt like I was getting, like, a migraine and a sledgehammer to the skull. Pull, pull, pulls out cloth. Uh, you, you, you got a little something there. Hold on. Here, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use healing words. My, <laughs> my nose is bleeding. Ah. Oh, no. Oh wait, no, that's a spell, that's a spell. No, that'll cause yeah, a my, my, my nose is bleeding. Ah. <laughs> a chance to, it's like yeah, thank a you. 10 chance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Ah. Psionics, ah, jeez. Well, hey, at least you don't have my AIDS. Your what? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, uh, I was not. Uh, I, I I was never I was never planning on sleeping with you, but now I'm really not. No, no, <laughs> a... no, no I mean like the magic aids because I have weird oh. things floating in my blood. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm that's clean, what baby. you meant. My st my statement stands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really uh. shows that you two are actual children. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um... So, can we <laughs> test something who else? Related, you like to argue like siblings. I mean, we could be related, who knows? Oh, no, let's I not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> one, one, uh, you, we're, not the same sa we're not the same shade of deep like, are we? <laughs> Oh, no, okay, so now you're bringing skin tone wow. into this. Don't you fucking I'm sorry, I have gray skin and not your beautiful... What are you, red? Black. Black. Okay, well, I have gray, so gray's not that far off black. <laughs> That's fair. Perhaps anyway, yeah, yeah, honestly, I also weigh five pounds less than you, more than you. Why, why, why this is not information I need. This is not information I need. He's also like an inch taller than you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm six, I'm six three, he's six four. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Your party is- this party is, like, the strangely tall party. Tall- tall kings and <laughs> short. Except for Flynn. Except for Flynn, Except for, <laughs> Flynn is the token short gremlin. Is How tall is Flynn? Down. Hang on. Six feet something. Four- I don't think like that- Brad, not DJ, you would put the nominator, he just How put four! Eric? Oh, Eric, 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 Eric might be watching the, one. um, Slate. He just put four. Eric I didn't put his height down. Um, okay, no, Enoch. I'm six. eleven. And he's also two hundred twenty-five pounds. That's not fun. Or six I'll feet. Sorry, six one. All right. 
A man converting <laughs> centimeters into feet. Superior American measurements. No. <laughs> Absolutely you, not. you know, if you didn't convert your guys' fucking telescope to Imperial units, it would have worked the first time. <laughs> no, no. I'm actually right. You guys had to put a pair of glasses on your Hubble telescope to make it work because you fucked up the measurements. <laughs> we had to put a monocle on the telescope. Yes. <laughs> Because you guys decided, oh, we're gonna switch it back to Imperial. <laughs> oh, I love Americans. They're so hilarious. <laughs> oh, I want to get the fuck out of this place, though. So we should probably get some rest. Curls up on couch, takes off part of lab coat, lays on top of him. Folds knees into chest and <laughs> rocks. Grabs a single aquatal to cuddle. <laughs> like a little plushie. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> They're not plushies, they're living <laughs> beings. Yes. Gently I'm just so imagining, like, hamburger. I'm just imagining either Zelix being used as a pillow. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, sleep over at a friend's house, fucking lay, like, lay down pile. Okay. Fucking As you all, when your friend at the sleepover forgot to give you your blankets, <laughs> you all chat through the night. Eventually, come to a rest. Night goes by. Mountainy peeps. A little bit of squeaks from strange creatures, probably within the walls, or debris. Eventually, you awaken. Few of you awaken some at first. Eventually, the rest of you awaken. May have a long rest. Oh, I thought you were about to see which of us gets trapped in a nightmare sequence. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that'd be dope. It's like most of you awaken. Ah, shit. Yeah, we, um, we do. I forgot how to do a long rest. There we go. That's no. Long rest. Uh, you you sleep, idiot. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh wait, actually. Nope. Uh, you actually are right. Um, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare time. Oh yeah, let's get a nightmare going. I want to be the nightmare. That's... Yeah. Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. While you sleep, while the others awaken, they see your body almost like sweating profusely. So when you awaken, you awaken in a strange place. At first, uh, it's a fault. Filled, uh, with your name on it. Filled with all the treasures. And then the treasures come to life. They were medics. Your avarice will be your downfall. Your character gets tsunamied by all the treasure. Make me dexterity saving throw. Yes. 
success. You run as fast as you can, trying to outrun this tsunami of treasure as it laughs, going faster and faster. That's fucking terrifying. Eventually, just as it's about to consume you completely, reaching a dead end, you're snapped awake by someone, licking your face profusely. <laughs> so salty! <laughs> I thought that would be more of a flint uh, there, that one. But, oh, it's both of them. Uh, flint oh. also wakes up in a panic. Partially, they're not here, so I can't really make them do that. No, that's fair. Yeah. But both of them that experience a very harsh dream. The fuck was that? I dreamt that there was a vault and a bunch of treasure, and then, then it came to life, and then it said my avarice would be my downfall, that I was running from, like, this sea of living treasure, and then, it, like, right before it swallowed me, I woke up. Fucking spooky, man. Have you picked anything up recently? <laughs> uh... uh... Enoch. No. Um, history with advantage using your wisdom. Uh, you can select it. Can f no, I'm trying to find history. There it is. Yeah. Right uh, with, with where it what? says wisdom. where it says ability modifier, you can switch it to wisdom. Yeah. No, I was just double checking. You said wisdom yep. and advantage. <laughs> okay. Perfect. 20. It seems somebody is plagued by their avarice. Someone's been sinning too much. A few yeah, of you, at least. Sense. What? As a Phoenix King coming from the Ashlands, you all, you people, the Death Elves, and the Phoenix can all know about the the deadly sins, the sinners. Too much of these sins will grant them to start looking upon you, sending things to stop you from being too greedy or too frightful or mm, too lazy. That one's rare, though. Never once Ow. has Lethargy ever done anything, but that's a... Uh, it seems these two are plagued with avarice. You may need to sort that out before it gets too out of hand for all of you. I'll, uh, I'll relay that to them all. And... <laughs> it, it's super strange for the rest of you because it's uh, this is the cryptic way of the Ashlands. So, however cryptic way you want to explain it to them. What the fuck is a sinner? I, I guess I mean in the literal sense, not the metaphorical sense. Phil is a perfect example of that. Hey! A god. Quiet. Can I... Do I know what... In which way this has been brought on for both? I'm assuming I know Flint is from his greed. Oh, both is of them Phil is the same? Girl. Both of them. Oh, both yes. Of them is Phil is actually very greedy. This has actually, like, been pretty apparent. He, uh, well, cherishes his wealth and always wants to make as much money as possible. His greed is with wealth. Yeah, that is true. Because what? he was a, uh... He's a businessman. Uh, yeah, yeah. So his... Flint's greed is material. He doesn't care Lint... what it is. Lint is just a hoarder. That's his greed, is hoarding everything, anything. And that's the, that's Fuck the uh, avarice, the too much of everything, too much of material or wealth, too much of it can cause madness, too much of it can be very bad, and it causes the sins to appear as it's... Question. Which, Fuck, time to start spending money. Which, which said... <laughs> Which sin comes along if you have too many kids? <laughs> Stop making children, damn it. <laughs> no. 
uh, that's a little different. Uh, honestly, the god of romance and devotion would be so happy about that if it was devoted to one person. No, if it's spread across multiple people, that's a different story. <laughs> then they'd be a bit more pissed off. I Technically, would be if you bring a really if you're talking about that, I can marry. If you're talking about who I think you're talking about, yes, he is being watched, and yes, he has caused a since a long time ago. He hasn't done it anymore, so he's not really under the effects anymore, because he stopped. I don't think he can't have any more kids at this point. <laughs> oh, but that sorry, that God of you fucked too many bitches, please stop. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Heck. Uh Zoic eventually stops licking the sweat off your face. Oh. <laughs> and then goes um, over to, to... Flint does the same. <laughs> Flint's hair is does, matted. Does does um the Sakarian hear everything Zelok does, or how does that work? What's our? <laughs> that does your patron hear everything through Zelok? I look at Zelak. Um, I'm not sure, but most likely. I mean, you use Zelak quite a bit to directly communicate. <laughs> Let me try. Sir, can't hear right now. But Master can hear, but can't see. He can hear, but he can't. Yes. Okay. You see, um. <laughs> So about the person, about the scientist that died upstairs. Mm hmm. I got a reading on energy that gave off a very. How to put it? Um, it gave off the same unpleasant feeling that your magic does. Hmm. And I think I have no guarantee that this is the case, but you mentioned at one point that you were looking for someone who stole power from your patron. Yes. Based on what I, what limited I've seen, I have nothing to confirm this, but I think they might be in the dream somehow. Which I thought was impossible until I ran into the group that was there physically. And then I had something you learn quickly about magic is. Nothing is impossible. It's just, just it's just a degree of how easily one can do it. Right. But the problem is someone is tampering with the dream realm. And if he's using your patron's power to do that, that's a massive problem. Right. So I carry in this entire method. Huh? Is the consumption of oh, go ahead. Nick, Nick, I thought Nicky said something. Oh, you're speaking of the dream. I had a colleague actually quite interested in that before. I'm almost obsessed, sort of. I think she was my boss's sister. 
I remember correctly. Her oh, name is Arlete. Right, no, she's not like him. Quite well, the opposite. The... I. Her intentions are less the problem, it's more of the dream doesn't work like everywhere else. You can't really. It's not meant to be tampered with by the physical. It is a representation of the immaterial. Mm -hmm. A plane for the non living, a plane for That's... the soul and the dreaming. Yes. Yes. You said there yes. was beings physically in there, though. Which means a group of travelers. there are people messing with it. Unnaturally. Uh. Hmm. Enoch. Mm -hmm. Uh Bill. I would also say Flint mm -hmm. and Air. Uh Flint, but they're not here, but Bill and Enoch. Uh <clears throat> Make me uh so be history checks. Uh, you can make it with wisdom again if you need to, Enoch. This is just a normal roll this time. Mm -hmm. The impossible dice to read. Damn! Oh, what the fuck? Not funny? <laughs> yeah. What kind of bullshit is that? Much was it? All right. With twenty-two and twenty-four, uh, there is a rumor oh, that was spreading around mm -hmm. in specific regions that you both have been in, uh, of a a quaddle that kept asking about uh, great old ones for a long time carried a scythe and kind of dressed up in a sort of uh, monk-like outfit. Uh, eventually, uh, he stopped asking for help and started asking for strange things, uh, especially around the bazaar. Uh, a lot of customers came in complaining of him smelling of, like, uh, death. Uh, and he would cause quite a ruckus asking for the really weird stuff. Uh, trying to ask for black market stuff in the open market. Causing a lot of ruckus with the thieves' guild. Eventually, he tore... Uh, he actually destroyed one of the Thieves' Guild buildings, and uh, they had to cover it up. Uh, you're unsure if they actually took care of what he caused, or they just literally covered it up. Hmm. And just didn't deal with it. But. You know, through me, there, there was this aquaddle. They used to uh, come around wearing like monk robes with a black scythe, right? Asking for real weird shit. And, uh... Blew up one of the Thieves' Guild's buildings, and it all got covered up. I don't know if it got dealt with or covered up, but, uh... That's that's really all I know. He he started smelling of death, from what I heard as well, which is a weird way of saying it, but... Um... Yeah, just asking about the weird and the wacky on the open market, rather than the underground market, if you will. Oh, is that like low growling? Do you know anything about this, Zelok? Target. 
is that the person's um, name? No. I don't think we know his name. We do. We know name. I, they stole from us. What? What did they steal? A piece of us. This is getting a little bit weird now. Uh, <laughs> he is now quite. He'd be akin to a demigod. What he stole. What What do you mean by quiet? Meaning he is gone hiding, or he is no longer in the land of the living? He's not quiet. He's making a ruckus. Yes. I get what you're saying now. This man is also target. Needs elimination. Right. Return of property. Do you know how we can come by doing that? Even if we knew how to get there, it is not. You got him. He went through the fucking wall. What? Don't worry about it. That's an accident. <laughs> Whenever you turn no clip on. Dog no dog G mod no clips through the solid object. <laughs> Even if we had the ability to go find him, I don't think that is exactly we have find is easy. Draw him too. But I think he's quite busy right now. I see his things right now. He has brought nightmares to me. Is that what okay. Flint and Another Phil was problem. just witnessing? Nightmares are creatures of the dream that have been corrupted by madness. Or him. He has decided to start taking over a city with nightmares. Sorry, you, you keep getting increasingly quieter when you're talking and it is getting difficult to hear. Sorry. His nightmares are getting Stronger, but he is making moves. So I guess that truth is no longer tending to the dream, then. Hmm. There is something else in that city other than demons and nightmares. There's been a ruckus going on. It's been entertaining. Is um, Zelot getting more and more pissed off as he's talking about this? I don't think this is Zelot talking. I think Zelot is being used as a well, microphone again. Well, I wait, Zelot's being used as a microphone? What? I mean, with Zelot's face, we can see. I'm just wondering if his features are. At the moment, they're just talking and staring blankly forward. I, 
I reach over Boliath and scratch him behind the ears. No reaction. Yep. Nope, that's not Zelok. Oh, what, what has Zelok said so far? <laughs> you fucking zoned out again. Yes. Oh, uh. Target. Was... Making moves in a city far from here. He moves in a city far from there. But I sense his magic here, too. Well, he was trying to create one. I sense it I in one of them. the cities. Is it a city we know? Ire. No, but Ire. Shit. Great. So now we have that dickhead and the shard mines to deal with. Is he intent on staying there? Intent of no clue of intent, but I must watch, make sure yes. my warlocks can watch too. Oh, yeah, did you happen to see, um, what exactly they meant by the world? splitting in half. I, I was curious if that was literal or metaphorical. Literal. There's now a nice pretty ring of debris. Yeah. This is a long shot. If there are any living people still in the ring, could you like gently send them back? You don't know what you're asking. <laughs> gently? Carrion, do you know what gently means? So be it. If he would have asked this the day it happened, he probably would have. Probably <laughs> dead by no fucker left now. I mean, it depends on if Mirakov is in the part of the astral sea that has breathable air. Parts of it, because... like, it does have breathable air, yes, but there are other things that you have to take into account for. They may have just like fell into the the field of asteroid or, like debris and stuff and just got clobbered. Well, uh, it has been actually no, it has there been less than a is day. Is a strange glowing object around it, though. What do you mean? It hides in the debris. Like, what kind of, I don't know, magic is it emanating? The wrong kind. Things from the banished. I was about to say, thank you for being an unhelpful motherfucker as always, <laughs> but he did identify for us. Huh. It floats. I'm gonna reach out to Zarkarian so I can talk orbit. so I can talk privately with him. Okay. Eyes go black, stand straighter. As I get into the kind of dark void of stars, I'm just gonna crack my neck a bit. <sighs> and look up at the massive astral form of Zarkarian. Child. Hello. So, my quarry, his magic is here, yes? Correct. I sense it in the city they call Ire. But 
No good. How much? I do not know. Calculating low levels of magic. Hard. Well, let's get one thing straight here. Tarkarian. I think his part Our deal. is small. Our deal, yes. Our deal is between you and me. And these people I travel with are useful, incredibly so, without your influence. Oh. My, my, my requirement for the time being is you will not try to make any other deals with members of this party a member is in a moment of weakness a, member of a moment of vulnerability much like how you found me and I know that you would be willing to take advantage but I ask you, do not. Because that, because if you do, then neither of us will get what we want. Am I clear? Uh, no deals will be made then. Good. Until next time, snaps fingers and leaves. So uh, he's enjoying the pets and is wagging his tail. Yeah, no, I was I'll pet Zelok behind the ears. Zelok is like on his back getting <laughs> the scritches. Okay. You okay? What was that about? I had a talk. That narrows it down. Uh, <laughs> Zarkarian Zarkarian had I had to speak to him about specifics like basically oh. basically the um, person I'm looking for the person who wronged Zarkarian is in the city of Aya that we knew that already but yes I need to work some things out and I'll look at Swoomy, and then just pet my dog. Hold on, dog. Let me just... Of all the fucking times to actually have a helpful insight... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Damn it! Almost so close! Their, almost beat their insight. <laughs> I almost did. If I rolled just a tiny bit better. Oh, that's Every, frustrating. Everyone else seems to be super duper convinced of you, Billy F. Except Shumi. <laughs> As always. That's suspicious. One. I, I, I expected this. I expected this. Face <laughs> through your fucking poker face. Yeah, you see a small twinge of it's a it's a weird look that Bell hides quickly. Somewhere between pity, concern, and why did you roll a D one hundred? Don't worry about it. Continue and uh, solidarity almost. Um, that she quickly hides behind her her poker face. Eyes narrows, motherfuckerly. <laughs> motherfuckerly, what the fuck is that? I fucking I forgot. You you just fucking like you just pulled that word from like the depths of my lexicon. Like I haven't thought about motherfuckerly in forever. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking whiplash. The fucking egg is upon you. Blush.
Yeah, okay. It, she gives yeah. you a look of, we'll talk about this later, and goes back to petting the dog. The, the parents stare. Yeah, the parents stare, and I just give an almost imperceptible nod, just like the slightest nod of acknowledgement. And sit back down, start paying my dog. Hold on. How fucking good. How good of a boy. Oh my god, why? Why? Why is it the stupid shit? Why now? Why now? <laughs> you are the god at petting, and that sounds very fucking weird. Mm, Zella. <laughs> happy <laughs> a natural 20 for a happy pet happy boy he's a happy 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 boy <laughs> oh god damn it uh for a moment uh the middle of the room kind of sparks and there's almost like a spark of energy that sort of happens and then an eyeball appears all cigarette what just a literal eyeball a literal eyeball i'm i'm not touching it but i'll look at it <laughs> i'm not touching it i'm glad you specifically said you weren't touching it good that doesn't seem normal. No, especially out of thin air. Um, uh, nature, medicine. I. Medicine is technically better. Yeah, nineteen. Probably a good thing too. <laughs> uh, seems to be some sort of. I. At first, you thought it was a prosthetic eye, but because it has no retinas, or it doesn't have any of the optical nerves attached to it, it's a smooth ball. Fucking throw one of its eyes at you so it can speak. How, how can I identify what this eye is? It's just an eye. It looks like a normal human eye. Mm. Uh, though, as you're holding it, it is colored blue. I'm not holding it. Or as you're looking at it, sorry, it is blue. But whoever looks at it, it color it changes to their eye color. Oh shit. <laughs> Can I make an arcana check to, to, to yeah. figure out what the fuck is going on here? Hundred percent. Jesus fucking Christ! Can you? This is another this, one. Can this you is after all time out row corner. For you? It's too many crits in a row. Is that three <laughs> crits in a row? Four. If three you crits. Count, if you count Enoch. <laughs> Uh, hang on, uh, are you rolling weighted dice here? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, you, weighted you, digital you dice? Weighed yeah. dice. <laughs> I, uh, 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 <laughs> so many. Watch, I'm gonna roll four four later on. <laughs> it's peeking all over. So, with an arcana check, you can determine Sorry, this. I didn't mean to peek my mic. Uh, this seems to be some sort of arcanus or arcane like eye. It is a pros is a prosthetic that you can actually replace one of your eyes with. You're not sure of the well. Uh, is it giving <sighs> off like it a is negative a... vibe? No. <laughs> Shall I try and pick that up? Um Half a gift for completion. For, for who? Uh, 
Zalot. Fodder Pool. What are you staring at me for? You giving me pets? Pets? Pets. That little motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to pick up the eye. <laughs> I, I would say that is a bad idea. Um, Belayev? Mm -hmm. You... You, um... Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with the eye? Yeah. Uh, Eldritch Sight. What am I, what magic do I, what magic fuckery is afoot? Just yes. Is, is there magic, is there magic fuckery afoot with this eye? Sort of. Well, yes. I, I critically succeeded on a arcana check. But Selok yeah. seemed to chime in that it was half of a gift, or it was a gift for half completion. I don't think that was Zelok talking, though. It, I know, but it came through the dog. Yeah, I will. Ma magic, magic bullshit. Go. See, bullshit. see magic. See, see magic. See magic. See what magic do. <laughs> Necromancy. Necromancy. Necro a necromantic eye. That doesn't set. That sounds a bit unsettling. Oh no, shit! Uh, I only say that because of the spell it can. Uh, it's connected to. I will hold my hand out for the eye. May I? It's on the floor, I think. It, I've, I've not floor, grabbed it. Oh, I thought I thought you were holding it. I thought no, you were holding I, it. I was right, going I to pick it up, I but then. Nikki, um... Nikki said, "Damn, I'm glad you said you weren't touching it." Okay, I will. Oh, I feel like this is gonna replace one of my eyes. I will pick it up. It absorbs into your hand. Yeah, but... Oh, that felt weird. Let me guess, her eye is different now. To eye mm. pops out. Is my eye? It, what happened? Is one of her eyes different? All right. Looks so so you, different. you get half of the abilities. This use uh, this. You need the other eye for it to fully uh, work. Because you're a warlock of Zarkarian. This is one of his eyes. You were right. This one. How many eyes does he have? Many. Uh, these are special eyes that were not actually removed from him. They're just a magical item. Okay, you actually uh, cannot like be spried on. Oh! No, you, oh, because Zarkarian's watching except me. Except for, uh, you only can be scried on by Zarkarian or another one of his warlocks. That's it. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, Wait, that doesn't save me. That doesn't save me from the guy we're going after. Uh, you also cannot be detected by magic or psionics. So oh, you're shrouded from Good like, to know. Yes. You turned on air Divination <laughs> of magic or psionic uh sensors or scrying. Okay. Uh, I I can I a, put forth an idea that I really like. If a aberration tries to psionically touch you, uh you instantly set off a spell against them. Can I get this as an item so I don't forget? <laughs> I will be doing that in a sec. Or like a feature or something? Thank yep. you. Um, but while you're doing that, I want to put forth an idea. Since Arcarian, uh, you know from what eye, I remember... You, you know a third eye. Oh, what? I, I have a third eye in my forehead? <laughs> sure. You could. It could be in your forehead. It could be wherever it, you it want. It could be anywhere? Okay. Um, let's... <laughs> Oh, where do I want my third eye? Oh, I was going to say the palm of your hands would be very funny. I'm, I'm not the palm of my hand would be pretty cool. And I I'm wouldn't have to change the art. I'm glad you grabbed this. If you, if you go with your normal eyes, it will actually split your eye into like, it looks like two eyes kind of squished together. I mean, it, here's the thing. If you choose forehead, you could hide it with your hair. 
because your hair art and the artwork already drips down to about <laughs> past your eyes. You wouldn't have to yeah. change artwork. You'll be here and, by no you, know, you could also creep people out by just being like, and now I gaze into them with my third eye. Hair mystically splits apart. Honestly, I eye. I am okay with that. I am okay with that. Um, yeah, we're gonna put the third eye in uh, in my forehead, Garland style. Um, and the idea I wanted to put forth since. Zar Zarkarian is kind of made of stars in the representation you show me. Um, I like the idea of this third eye being created from a dying star. I like that idea. So it's just this tiny little dote of Zarkarian's <laughs> influence that's in my brain now. Okay, so I'm going to have to head out real soon. So I got to okay. 20 minutes. Just giving you like a 20 minute heads up before I go. All right, but yeah, I, I, Bell takes a minute to kind of get used to this because I assume I also see through this eye, right? Yeah, you can see. So through. it's just like, oh, uh, mm. that is that is strange. I'll move my hair to a to the side, and they all see. They all they they, they all see the the third eye because I move my hair to the side to kind of get used to it. That's not fair. In order for me to see triple, I gotta take drugs. Yeah, that's. Um, uh, I don't that's want. Oh, okay, this is strange. Ah. Uh, it's like one point five times. Uh... So yeah, no, be glad. How do I look at when I'm talking at you now? The, these ones, these ones, I point at my normal eyes. Normal these eyes. Ones. These ones. These ones, because usually okay. my hair will be like this, and I'll pull the the hair back over the the third eye. No. And uh, that is uh, colors are like brighter. It feels okay? weird. It feels weird. Your eyebrows are fake. <laughs> you all want to talk? Yeah, you all want to talk. I will. I will poke. No. I, I. I will. No. I will poke. No, you look at you. Look at Sweetie. Your eyebrows are fake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, this is instead of okay, instead of um, you know how when you uh, this is hard to describe, you know how when you are just looking with two eyes, it's kind of your view is kind of rectangular. I mean, that's the only way I know how to see, so yes, right now mine is almost try. Angular again. It's hard to describe. Hmm. Ugh, this is disorienting, to say the least. I can imagine. Yes, you're imagining right. But um, on the bright side, this I think I know what this does. Um, I'm I'm sure you'll get used to the the feeling of it. Sensory Soon. overload. Yeah. Yes, I, at least I hope so. Oh. Hell. Yes, but um, uh, uh, this is one thing I will ahead. actually have to mention because you are a psionic. Uh, Beliath, it, you try to like reach her mentally, you can't. Impossible. It's like she doesn't, Actually, she's not even in front of you when you try to like use your psionics on her. So I guess the question is are, are they still go, going to be able to be affected by things like message and sending? Yep. Probably not. No. So, oh shit, that's right. That is so, oh fuck. As long so, as you're not a scion trying to harm them, probably. Beliath can turn it on and on. I like turn uh allow oh, friend like she can set to scry. Open her inbox, close really. her inbox. Or right. you can yeah. just all become warlocks. Let, let's just do some basic sensory tests. Okay. Uh, I'd like move, to do a uh, medicine the hair. check to see if I could help them. Kind of, uh, you know how, like, when you go to the eye doctor, they perform a bunch of tests to make sure that your eyes work correctly. Uh -huh. I'm intimately aware. Y yeah, as am I. I'd like to try and do that. Jesus, you've been rolling crazy today. 
Oh, don't don't stop her now. I like how you say that because you have perfect vision that you don't know what we've gone through to get our glasses. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go ahead and go now. My grandmother just got here. So Alright, okay, have a good one. Buddy. Have a little, little shorter of a session, I guess. That's okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do at... Okay. Okay. If you poke my forehead, I swear to the gods. <laughs> Writes runes no. on the wall. Stand over there. <laughs> no, fucking. Back in a sec. You're, we'll get to that in a second. But for right now, this is doing the light test where, you know, you, you have like the little. She's holding out like a uh, little wooden stick with produced flame on it. So it's just. Imagine something about the size of a pencil with like a little bit of light. It's just, all right, uh, close your normal eyes, use the forehead one, and uh, just follow the light. I don't know why that makes me anxious, okay? Um, <laughs> right, close his eyes. Oh, this, this is strange. Just okay, follow, follow the light, follow, follow the, light. the light. And she'll, you know, Move uh. back and forth. Ah, this is hard. This is. Mm. Mm. Maybe the fact that it's hard to gauge due to it looking weird. It's just. Let's try a different test. It's yeah, it's she'll... not it's not like moving my normal eyes. It's like a muscle I've never had before. She'll walk over here, take out a piece of charcoal, and um, write some characters in common in a sequence. <laughs> they, you are they, a they piece start, of shit, so I'm they like... They <laughs> start off very large, and they increasingly get smaller the farther they go down. Okay. <laughs> Alright, step over here by the table. Okay. <laughs> All right, like right here. Oh, oh, here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now, using your third eye, go ahead and read the read from the top row down. All right. <laughs> Just for fun. Hang on. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> uh... It's it's hard to focus. I um I can read like the first three lines, but then it's just I don't know. It's it's hard to focus. Like I said, it's it's like um Have you ever met someone who had a missing finger when they were born? And later on they have a they have some sort of um prosthetic, be it wood, metal, whatever. Being able to move that finger um, uses parts of the hand that have atrophied, so it feels it feels like that. It it feels like that. It feels like it feels like muscles that I never had in my forehead have just formed. Perhaps you are straining too hard. To try to use it, maybe just yeah. Relax. Yeah, okay. Breathe. It takes. <laughs> what about breath. this? Is relaxing. I have a third eye. I mean, that uh, was your decision, not mine. Yes, that's fair. I, I, I would have just burned it. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't think I have that choice. Off your patron. Yeah, I don't think I have that choice. Sorry, right, relax. Don't think. Oh, okay. Better? Better, yeah, better. Um, I can see more, yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. As an action, you attempt to do something. All right. 
What kind of spell do you want to cast that comes from sorcery, wizards, or warlocks? It has to be first level or cantrip, and it won't, uh, does not have a consumed material component. It has to have a cast in time so, and action. Okay, so a a spell that's Any. an action. As long as it's first or comes from cantrip. Okay. Sorcerer, wizard, warlock. And you just cast it. You can just mm. name it. Your character's just gonna like uh focus. Oh, just any, any spell, not one I just, not one I already know. Not one you know. Anything. Because it oh, comes from sorcery, wizards, let, or warlock. Let me look this up. As long as it's first or cantrip. Uh I'll grab the sorcerer list. The warlock list. They have a lot of interlapping spells. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see here. Um, it has to, uh, yeah, as long as it's an action casting, too. Yeah. An action casting, okay. Um, oh, geez, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's very sudden, so it's like <laughs> any like just a spell, it could anything. A spell. Your okay. character just casts it as your eye glows. Let's do. Um. Oh, you're right. There is a ton of overlap between these. Uh, yes. let's see. Let's see. Wizard and because Wizard had a lot of fun stuff. Uh, let's see. They also have a lot more. Wizard. Frostbite. Um. I'm sorry. <laughs> just give me a minute. Uh. <laughs> you can just do Unseen ser unseen Servant. I, I already have Unseen Servant, I think. Uh, Lightning yeah. Lure is a funny one. That is funny. Um, you could just drag someone closer to you so, so that the marshals As I said, it's right. any spell. So it is spells you own as well. It just can be anything. Yeah. It doesn't cost I... a spell slot. It doesn't cost a Oh, so it's just any spell. Okay. Yes. Um, right now, I'm time between Toll the Dead, Burning Hands, and... I... So, don't think about it. I... Just pick a one because it's not gonna matter Just pick one i'm showing you what your ability does oh oh okay uh <laughs> let's do let's do um fuck it dimension door i guess that's <laughs> too high level that's level a, one or cantrips uh, oh it. fuck you're right uh level one <laughs> sorry uh fuck it uh old reliable elderberry elders play all right you watch as her eye glows and you see a spark of energy blast out of it. I, I imagine Belle's head just snaps back like, oh, okay. Ah. That rattles my brain. Mm. Charisma saving throw. That's useful. Wait, <laughs> saving throw? Charisma saving throw. Charisma, okay. As you have gazed into madness. Oh, <laughs> shit! You just Ooh. beat it. Holy fuck. All right, so that was just a test version of that. The DC's not going to go up because you were just learning about this ability. So the DC is default yeah. 15. It'll go up by 2 every time you succeed. And this allows you to basically have a extra pool of different magic <laughs> that you can cast <laughs> until you go mad. That's really fucking cool. Now, if you fail the saving throw, you can't do it again until you say, uh, till midnight. So. Okay. When I said relax, that's not exactly what I meant. I don't know what I did, but it was awesome. <laughs> Is there a way of it going back down to its original DC? Uh, yes. If I fail. When you fail and it resets. When you fail, it just goes right. Okay. Yeah. So you have to fail for it. To, okay. I. I've what, used this what before, is, by what the way. The, I've done uh, the DC up to 20. <laughs> like, 21. 
what what, what, what is what is the what is the detriment for if i fail madness short-term madness Ma madness oh fuck so I start going insane. Okay, good, good to know. Good to know. Good to it's know. Thanks, going. Mickey. But this is only one half of the eyes. There's another half that once you get the other eye, you'll get more abilities. And you'll see why these and abilities madness. have madness related to them. Okay. All right. You might not be Do so keen in being Peter? like, ooh, um, uh, it, you may go from, ah, oh, madness to, ooh, madness. Mm. Mm. My my head is swimming from that. Um, mm. here, wow. Here, here, take our rose hips, Chew. Ah, thank you. Oh, it is literally just tree saps with a rose hip bud. <laughs> I don't know what rose hips taste really, like. Are they sweet? I, okay, so rose hips are like um, how to explain this. Typically, you only find them in, like, the pharmacy aisle because they're high in vitamin C. So it kind of has a chalky taste to it. Um, and it mm. is just embedded in tree sap. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sounds delicious. Okay. So sticky it, chalk. It, it's nice. not. I like chalk, though. That is... Do not Do eat chalk. Do not <laughs> eat chalk. What? What's the problem with eating chalk candy? A lot of things! <laughs> No, if it's the sweets, then that's a different story, dude. Yeah, if it's, you have like, if you have like bad. those those at least chalky I'm, those chalky things. At least I'm not as bad as those dumbasses who like smash up rockets and then snort it. Do you know those like? Do you know those like chalky discs you can get at gas stations? No, I yes. love them. They're so good. Mars Pam. They're called Mars Smarties for you guys. Not, or no, no, Mars no, 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 not Smarties. Oh. No, not Smarties. I'm talking about like the ones that come in like the white packaging. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's in Canada. Altoids. I think are, Altoids. I'm not sure. Okay, are they in like the metal box? And no, like, no, 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 no. No. They're it, they're in these little. It's it. It's hard to describe it because I I grew up not knowing the name, but my my grandpa used to get it all the time, so I called it Papa Candy, and. Basically, it was the the stack of like chalky sweet um discs that were i don't know how to describe the flavor but it was like really sweet and kind of tart and like it was really good sweet and now i want them maybe sweethearts i'm not 100. entirely sure uh, you're describing either bottle caps or sweethearts i it, it, the thing is they it, it's like they're both the like really of, sweet and they're like tiny little penny discs i don't know it's hard it's hard to describe I, I i don't remember yeah they're the size of pennies or dimes. i saw i saw them the other i saw them the other day and i do not remember what the name was because well, I, uh, I went into i went into a a, a fucking a rocket yeah. fizz if you know what that is <laughs> that's fair that's fair well, as you yeah. learn about Dude, rocket fizz is so fun new power understanding that this is a gift or upon completion as things are moving closer than they were before i think we will join our heroes next session as they then confront asker after they've mm. uh readied themselves thank you all for joining us for curse of the ice fields i hope to see you all next time why? Did you know in terms of Pokemon? No. Uh, <laughs> got your fuck All right. now. Good night, everyone. Thank I got you for it the resubs. Thank you for the new follows and the subscriptions. I appreciate oh, all of it. <laughs> and y'all have a good night. Bye. I thought